Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to what I'm hoping will be an objective Mario Superstar Baseball video on what is the most perfect team one could end up with in a game of Mario Superstar Baseball. Let's just dive right into it. First thing on your team is the pitcher. On your perfect team, you would like Boo. Boo is undoubtedly the best pitcher in the game. He pitches fast, he gets that ball right to the catcher, which helps negate steals. Also, obviously, just being the best pitcher means more likely to get strikeouts and whatnot. But on top of that, he's got an incredible bat to boot, so you're not wasting any offensiveness with him. You're gonna get slap hits that sometimes land for doubles scoring. You, you could score three RBIs off of a good boo hit. So undoubtedly, he is your pitcher on the perfect team. However, as we're gonna go through these positions and your best players, we have to acknowledge that it's very unlikely you're gonna naturally be able to draft the greatest team ever because you're playing against someone. So if Boo is off the table, Diddy Kong or Dixie Kong are an excellent second choice. They're both really good at pitching, almost as good as Boo. You're just giving up a little bit of offensive prowess. Dixie's got a pretty good slap hit. Diddy Kong has got a less good slap hit, but he's got the star hit, and he's also a little better in the field in case you have to switch out your pitcher and get tired. He's, he's got the glue hands on top of Clamber, whereas Dixie just has Clamber. So those are your best back, uh, backups for pitcher, but Boo is definitely the way to go there. Next up is your catcher. Undoubtedly, the only catcher in the game that matters is the best catcher is Petey. Petey Piranha is the best catcher in the game with the strongest arms. He'll get the most outs possible throwing the second, coupled with a boo pitcher, beats out almost any steal attempt, even perfect ones, the second base. However, there is no other catcher that kind of performs the way PD does so if you don't get PD you can probably slap any heavy here I've put the bros here in this position You're, you you might end up with a bro um and they don't do much in the field so a catcher is good they do have a strong arm and you know it's worth drafting a bro is how likely they are to hit home runs they're similar to PD just less good at catcher PD hits better home runs and is a better catcher so he's your priority but the bros are good backup all right next up third base what is considered to be more important of the two corner bases so i put the more important characters here your dream pick for third base is magic koopa magic koopa makes plays literally no one else can get with that magical catch he's also very tall so even though he doesn't have super jump he gets plays that would normally go over anyone else's head as well as sucking up balls that would go either foul or just past the third baseman with the magical catch his arm isn't great to home as the only downside but he still leagues above anyone else and the best backup for Madge is King Boo. King Boo it has got super jump, he's got a strong arm, he's got a big hitbox, but also offensively, he is a home run hitter that also has a good slap hit and a good star hit. Madge is a good star hitter, and, but his slap is only okay. So offensively, King Boo is better, but because Madge is still pretty good offensively and his defense is just way better, he's the way to go. But King Boo is a really good replacement. Third base and first base are kind of interchangeable, by the way. So when I go over the first base picks, you could also have Badger KB at first pick. It's just first base rather. It's just you'd rather have them at third. It's a little more important, but you could flip flop the two of that anyone I'm about to talk about. First base, this one's pretty easy. I think you might be, be the first one you think of, but like when you when you see it, you're gonna understand. Your best pick for first base is Bowser because you want Bowser on your team because he's the best character in the game, and this is the place to put him. He's big, he makes a good bit of plays, and he's got laser, so he's actually useful at that position on top of giving you the best offensive character in the game. But Bowser always usually goes first pick, so if you're not graced with having first pick, other good first basemen include Magic King Boo as well as Paratroopa, Luigi, and Waluigi. These all have in common, they have super jump so they can catch those balls that would normally go over your head, and they all have pretty good arms. Waluigi has laser, it's just the worst laser in the game is actually worse than some players' normal arms. But these are all, they're all pretty equal, they're all pretty useful. Uh, defensively the same way with that super jump. Waluigi is the biggest, but he's also the worst offensively. Para's got a star, Luigi's got a star, but their slap hits are good. Waluigi's slap hit can land, but he brings a little less to the table offensively than the other two, but he makes up for that with being a little more defensively. So those are your corner base trade outs if you don't get Bowser or Madge. 
Next up is shortstop, one of the two infield positions. Again, arguably the more important of the two. And also like the corner bases, you can kind of interchange what I'm about to say for this and second base. But the person you want on your shortstop is obviously Donkey Kong. He's huge. He's got laser. His arm throw is crazy. So he'll beat out a lot of plays the first. His dive is good. He honestly makes plays you don't think he should be able to. And he doesn't even have sliding catch. He's simply a big boy. He's got laser and clamber, which is like the one bad thing about DK is that his other ability is clamber. But everything else is incredible. And this is for sure the one of the best players in the game. So of course you want him on your team offensively you can hit home runs slap hits star hits the works and being the best shortstop easy pick replacement the pink menace the pink menace is just a kind of like worse version of donkey kong he's only got laser no second ability even though clamber doesn't matter he can hit home runs but nowhere near as well and his slap hit isn't even good it's fine but it's not that good definitely uh better uh, not as good as dk's and as far as stars go he has the falcon pop if you make him righty but it's not as good as a dk banana if he's your captain but a very sensible backup if you don't get dk heading over to second base you're gonna want to lock in birdo for second base birdo has got that suck it's the best defensive thing in the game really makes crazy plays only like yoshi's tongue can make and we're gonna get to yoshi in a bit but Having Birdo in the infield is one of the best infielders, makes plays you'll never see anyone else make. And on top of that, offensively, she brings her weird ball to the game. And the weird ball is one of the best star hits. If it goes through the infield, you're guaranteed probably like second base at, uh, that like usually a double, sometimes a single, but also sometimes a triple. So you want Birdo on the stream team, especially if you, and you can make anyone your captain. She's the choice as well. Probably the best captain in the game. But if you can't scoop in Birdo, there are a few other sele selections here. Daisy and Wario are two of the best infielders because of sliding catch coupled with their size. Wario is wide, Daisy is tall, so it depends on if you care about verticality versus uh, width. I would say play to your team here. If your team is really offensive, pick Daisy because she's a little better defensively. But if you got a lot of defense, pick Wario because his, his possibility to hit a home run, it's not zero. He can do it. But Daisy's got a better singles bat. So if you're just looking for singles and to turn more double plays with her quick throw ability, she will turn more plays than Wario will. But if you need someone to hit a homer, Wario's your guy. As far as star hits go, neither as good as the weird ball. The uh, garlic is just kind of bad, and the flower at least could be a sack fly, and if it lands, it's like a, usually a triple. So I'd give Daisy a little edge over Wario there, but I would say base this on who you need offensively or defensively if you can't lock down Birdo. The right field. The right field is all about wall jump. So the best person to have here is Mario. This one's a little controversial. They're everyone you're going to see on the screen. Some people think are the best choice. Mario, I think, is the best because he's a, he's an all rounder. His speed is totally good. He's got sliding catch. He's got wall jump, which lets you jump off the wall and rob home runs. And offensively, his slap hit is great. The Mario fireball is incredible if you it can aim it properly. I think Mario is the guy you want in this position, but you might not get Mario. All these characters kind of go in a similar place. If you don't get Mario, both Toadette and Luigi are totally acceptable substitutions. Luigi is very similar to Mario. So if you like that Mario feel, Luigi's the way to go. Great slap hit, good wall jump. He doesn't have sliding though. He's got super catch, which makes him playable on the corners. Like we mentioned him earlier, but some people don't know super catch makes your wall jump higher it's theory that it might might not we don't know for sure but he's a very if you're comfortable with mario he's the way to go he's basically mario a little bit of a longer bat and even a little bit faster toadette however is a, a great defensive pick tied for fastest character in the game and she's also really tall the mushroom people are super tall for some reason so she makes a lot of plays in right field it's no one else can the only downside is offensively a little bit worse you know you don't have a star opportunity the slap hits are much harder to get off than with mario or luigi so again this is a defense versus offense thing but i think because mario has the best all around he's the pick but i, I can just i think you can justify any of these three in your right field Left field, there's only one man for the job. It's Yoshi. Yoshi is also one of the fastest characters in the game, also tied at nine. And his tongue makes him make plays that literally no one else can. And the left field is a danger zone. When someone slaps something to left field, if you don't have someone there to make that play that's fast, 
it's gonna just it's gonna roll past them and you could see a double happen as a result of it yoshi not only makes catches but if they don't make the catch the tongue can still grab the ball and throw to second preventing it being a double so yoshi's undoubtedly the best person in this position and if you can't lock down yoshi you want someone fast so i think the only real other options here unless you're just gonna have someone that's not great are toadette and noki toadette Again, I personally don't love her, but she's so fast that she might be able to turn some of these plays that Yoshi can. Not with that tongue, but just like, like the ones that Yoshi can run to. So she's an okay pick. Her arm's not great, but neither is Yoshi's. But Noki is actually a really good pick because Noki's really good offensively, having either a line drive or a Falcon Pop Star, whichever color you choose. And she has an okay arm. She's pretty quick, and she's got Kem de Pianta, who, as we saw earlier, could be a prime infielder. So I think I personally usually use Noki as my backup, but I think Toadette's an okay pick as well if your team is already pretty strong offensively and you have a right fielder locked away already. Finally, center field. This is your flex spot, right? The the least, probably the least important position in the game, it's either this or first. Um, so this is where you're going to want to put someone that completes your team or someone you're really good with. I think Toadsworth's the man for this spot. Just having one of the best slap hits in the game, as well as a really good star hit. And he has glue hands to boot. Obviously, that's um, super catch. He can't drop the ball or bobble it. So having him in center field at least means he might not be fast enough to get to a lot of plays. You don't have to worry about bobbling. You will make the catch if you get into that circle. There are a lot of acceptable other characters for this spot you can get Noki, you can get bro you can get diddy bone shy guy toad even more than i put on the screen this is your flex spot put someone here you are good with do you need star hitters do you need falcon poppers do you need a backup pitcher do you need to put an extra heavy somewhere this is kind of where you dump your character your extra character so whatever your team needs this is the spot for them this is your um this is a purely offensive character that i need right now so i'm gonna put them here so let's regroup and recall everything we just covered so basically this is what the perfect team looks like hey, excuse me little finder go away i'm trying to talk here this is your perfect team right you got yoshi and left toadsworth and center mario and right birdo at second dk shortstop madge on third base bowser on first with boo pitcher and pd catcher this is what I think is the assemblage of the best parts of Mario Baseball. The best person in each position. Also, all of them are incredibly offensively. There's no real weakness in this team. Everyone can carry offensively and defensively. The only problem with this team is you are uh, never going to be able to draft it in your life. There's just no way you're not going to be able to draft this team. Unless your opponent sucks or you're playing some kind of mode where you can use duplicates or something. So I've provided you guys a few variant teams to look at and consider because realistically you might only get four or five of these characters and you have to be prepared to who do you draft as a result. So the first variant team I'm showing you, these are not like go-to variant teams. There's things you might have is something where you didn't get DK or Yoshi, right? So Pianta and Noki is a good little chunk of a team here you got someone that's still really good in left field and really fast with chem and with chem into the infield and then laser home is still very good you got luigi instead of mario over here there's no issue with this it's just basically another person and maybe you didn't get mad you get kb this is a really realistic looking team this looks like someone first picked donkey kong and you followed it up with a bowser pd action plausibly draftable if they follow that up with like a bro hmm maybe they go bro yoshi next a lot of people love yoshi on defense and then you can bring in like a, a boo birdo king boo some combination of those guys this is a possible team and this connection here is a good core for it another one is um your right field is a little different here like you, you maybe you didn't get bowser they first picked bowser um, so you went maybe DK bro, or maybe you first picked Donkey Kong and they went Bowser PD. Regardless, you got like a bro catcher who's still just as good. You've got the Daisy Mario Luigi right field, which I think is a really good underrated hero build. It was a thing from the early seasons, but now we've decided that Daisy is one of the prime infielders. Her quick throw plus chem to Luigi, who's got super jump to make great plays, plus all the chem from right field could even be 
beat out some slow characters running the first. You got a really good core here. You got Kem with DK and Diddy in case Diddy gets tired and you can switch him out with Toadsworth as a pitcher. A lot of good stuff happening on this team for sure. Another variant team is uh, you got maybe but Wario and Waluigi as your second base and your first base. The chem makes Wario's stinky arm a little better. Waluigi is the biggest guy with super jump, so he'll make some plays that maybe Luigi wouldn't have with his jump. Maybe you got an extra heavy because you're a po you maybe you uh hmm, this would be like they first pick Bowser, you go DKPD, and they follow it up with like Boo King Boo, and you could lock in Bro as well. This is one of those positions where you stuff Bro in center, because you need an extra place for that last uh, heavy of yours. So that's what you can do. And then you got Dixie Kong here because you know there's all kinds of different pitchers you might have to deal with. Dixie Kong, another great choice. So I'm just showing casing. She could be your pitcher as well. And you got a little toad at right field on this one, because why not? Another one. This is a weird one. This is like the wackiest one. You could throw some players in the spots they aren't exactly best in, but still suit a team. Maybe you get to a point where you're realizing, oh, you know what? There's no infielders left on the table because I, I took uh, I took Yoshi really early and some power with a KB PD Bowser. So you can move Yoshi into your infields and have maybe a shy guy in center for that chem to birdo and a falcon popper on your team maybe you, you need luigi and toadette to kind of cover the fact that you've made a loss on left field by moving yoshi but the, the other person with a nine speed over here because you already got a wall jumper and as far as the infield goes you still got laser on your corners you got a good jumper so these are all perfectly acceptable teams that you have to accept you might not get this perfect team because of the way drafting works. But at the end of the day, this is what I believe to be the perfect team, this collection of nine characters. Um, let me know what you think. Is there one or two positions you would change? Am I totally wrong? Is there everything you would change? Do you like one of the variant builds more? Let me know all this in the comments below. I'm interested to see what you think, because I know that Toadsworth is probably going to be the one that's most debated because it truly is a flex spot. Put someone you're good with there. People are probably going to argue that the Dream Team should have Bro there instead. because That's another heavy. Definitely a reasonable argument. It depends on what you can draft, though. This is a perfect world, however. That's why this is the perfect team. And this is what I believe to be the perfect team. But I want to hear from you guys, so please like the video, comment down below, let me know what you are thinking. Let me know other kinds of videos like this you might want to see. I like doing some Mario baseball breakdowns. You know, I did how I'd add Rosalina and Boshi to the game. So some of these fun PowerPoint journeys we can go on together. Let me know what you'd be interested in seeing. As always, I've been Wonder Bear and you've been you. Peace out.